Hello and welcome to episode 8 of our Timberborn Update 3 Hard Mode Let's Play with the Iron Teeth Faction. Last episode we finally got into golems, or bots as Mechanistry wants us to call them now. And we actually have two of them parading around as workers at the hauling post in this district. We also added some more trees to be grown and harvested. And as one of you pointed out in the comments, we haven't actually indicated that these need to be cut yet. So let's go ahead and do that real quick before we do anything else. And get this whole area marked and ready to go. That is a good problem to fix right there. And other things we're going to be doing today, we're going to be taking a better look at kind of how the water physics are a little weird with coming out of these uh, levees right here and then also back in this area as we look to improve how everything is going down here. Now, part of what we have been doing is trying to channel the water coming out of this area and not flood everything here. So I figured the best way to do that was to build a wall of levees and then a channel to kind of direct everything into this path. But it might end up being too much water, which is why I also put a little hole here and kind of... Uh, sectioned this area off so i'm gonna try today i don't know i don't know how realistic it is to actually finish that at this point in time but i am going to go ahead and just kind of get this whole thing set up as best i can build the rest of this wall and then maybe maybe another one over here if i can get the uh stuff to go all the way over there, which I think I can. Is that still going to be in range? Yeah. So I want to build this right here and then put another little wall right there. And then right there, which we will accomplish by putting in a staircase. So once that's done, the water should just kind of cascade it gently down here. And we'll also have this whole section blown up as well. And then once that's done, actually, no, I think we could probably right now go ahead and actually seal this up. And then that way water can gradually be forced out this way once we have all of this completely built up. Because what I'm trying to do is create kind of like a cascading series of, well, locks would not be the correct word, but maybe the best way to visually describe what I'm thinking here, like, you know, in the, uh, like, say, the Panama Canal or anything like that, where you have these different flat areas of water that you raise and lower so ships can traverse them and make elevation changes because, you know, water generally doesn't do that unless you have to uh, manually pump it up and down or it's like a mountain stream or something. But if we have different levels of this that are kind of set apart with blocks of dams at uh, different intervals, then I think not only would that have to uh, irrigate this whole area but it'll be a little bit better for flood control so if i were to go ahead and put one of those say right here that would push a little bit of water out this side as well and then just create kind of a nice little terraced thing going on so i think probably what we're going to do is well first of all we have to actually you know get them to build literally anything which seems to be kind of an issue and also these guys are saying there's no food but we have we have plenty of food plenty of water well not plenty of water we're kind of low on water but we're not in we're not in crisis mode yet so let's go ahead and put on turbo speed and we'll let these guys get to work they're also building more of these uh more of these water pumps which i think we should probably hello we should probably... Seriously? You're not going to let me... Uh... There we go. We want to build all of this to be the absolute highest priority because we are presently, in this district, very low on water, although they're not thirsty enough really for that to be a problem yet. We also, last episode, started building another level of... I'll never... Another level of levees. Say that five times fast. And they can't currently reach that because these paths are not connected. Another uh, YouTube comment alerted me to this in the uh, 
I hesitate to call it research stage because I don't really research. I just I, I read the comments before I record a new episode to make sure there's nothing I missed. So thank you to those of you who uh, said, hey, this isn't connected. That's a big help. And now they should be able to build the rest of this once they, you know, actually get there. It's just one of those things that's going to take quite a long time. And another problem we had here is that these paths aren't connected because I, uh, well, chose poorly, we'll say, with the uh, placement of paths once we had uh, kind of redone all of this. Because I moved it out one more uh, step this way, we kind of cut off a little bit. So as these trees are grown, I'm going to replace this with another path. And hopefully that'll let us get into here. You know, or I could just move these, but there's eh, there's not really any reason to have a ton of wood here. We already have plenty. So we can just kind of make things a little bit more logical in construction. I think that's always a better move anyway. All right, so they're still way behind on all this. Have I marked this for um, cutting? I have not. This entire thing, I had not marked for cutting. I don't know if any of you have uh, suggested I fix that, because I don't think that was one of those things I had been taking a look at. But if you did, thank you. If not, then, well, that's okay, too. That's okay. None of these guys can actually work here anyway, because, you know, they, uh, they have other stuff to do that's more important. Come to think of it. Okay, now these guys are all working here. That's fine. That's fine. We really just need more beavers. I know that seems like kind of a, kind of a, like, really? How? We don't need more beavers. We have too many beavers as it is. Well, we expanded this district really fast. And I think that kind of had a, some detrimental effects on this one. And, you know, we'll be fine. We'll get through it. At least we have six of these guys now. Guess we'll just go ahead and mark all of these as higher priority because, you know, that kind of is an important, important thing. How are we looking over here? Have we built anything else? No. But we have placed dynamite, which is always fun. Yeah, these guys are too far from the... Oh, I removed... <laughs> Duh. What am I thinking here? I need to put that little path back. They can't build the dynamite if they can't reach it, right? I don't know why I thought that was going to be... Uh, that was going to be fine. Okay. Other things that we can try to fix. Uh, I want to turn this area into a reservoir, which means we have to have a level... level area here. Which I'm going to go ahead and just... Uh, Place all these things. Yes, I know I don't have to have them here. I still do anyway. It's fine. Just uh, just let me be great. <laughs> what, what is that? What is that people always say? Yeah, I'm going to turn this into, say, a couple of dams on this side, and then just to let water in, and then just do all of this up here, and then I think. It's probably fine just to do that. I know it's not perfect, but whatever is perfect, right? We'll do another thing right here. And then this area is going to be where one of those... Uh... Yeah, like that. That's going to be nice when that's done. It's going to take forever and a day to, you know, actually do it. But it'll be fun when it's done. And of course, we can also use that to make uh, this a little bit easier as well. Just to build all of that, I think that'll be perfect right there. They got a long way to go to get to that part, though. All right, and this is starting to get low on water. So let's go ahead and do a strategic release. And there's been several of you saying, hey, you should desynchronize your floodgates and individually control them. Um, yeah, I probably should. Don't think I will. At least not right now. Just because it's uh, 
a little annoying to individually do four different ones unless you have a scenario in which you have the exact amount of flow figured out that you need in which case it makes perfect sense but we're not there right now not quite these guys are gradually filling the hauling post which is good I think we still have plenty of bot parts to build a couple more and the factories are all still turned on except for the ones on this side because I haven't wanted to use resources I was waiting for there was some resource I had tried not to uh, get rid of here I guess I could just turn this back on get twice as many uh, twice as many of these guys going Bot assembler, that's right. I got to uh, put that guy up there. Why was it I turned that off? Oh well, we still need those anyway, so I guess I'll just let that go. Yeah, we're getting low on food, which is surprising, considering how much we actually have. That's right, last episode I was going to make more, more farming areas. So I guess this area up here might actually be good for farming. If we can get these uh, trees out of here. So let's go ahead and give them something to do. Get these trees out. I think we have enough storage for logs. Yeah, we have tons. We're in good shape. And we still have homeless beavers over here. That's right. I was going to find a place to build some additional... Uh, barracks so we might as well just kind of go ahead and put them over here i don't really see a reason not to if i were just to do something like this we don't have to have these districts connected but the buildings can touch that's that's allowed that's fine i think we're going to be okay with that Then maybe you should put a second level of stuff on top of here. I don't know. We're not really lacking in storage for stuff because these golem parts, we probably don't need to stockpile. Because these things will more or less make them kind of at the same speed they can be used. More or less. If I actually have the correct amount of... Uh, bot assemblers. I guess I probably need to build two more of these. Why are... Oh, these aren't producing anything. That's right. Well, I guess I could... I guess I could turn them on. Maybe. They're waiting on gears. That's right. We need more gears. I was going to do this whole thing where I was going to build more gears and more, uh, more lumber mills. But I just never got around to it. Because I was trying to figure out how to do the logistics on the power shafts. We're going to have to figure that out. Because I need to put a bunch more of these engines in. But the way that the stuff comes out of here, this one single shaft on the back, kind of limits where you can put them. And that's going to be an interesting thing to try and solve. I don't know. Maybe once this whole thing gets taken down, I'll just build a whole bunch of them over there. Because I kind of also don't want to just put them up on these stilts the whole time. I feel like that's kind of wasteful unless I were to put a storage underneath, possibly. Because now the uh, the large industrial pile actually is a perfect platform for that kind of thing. If I were to actually, you know plan stuff appropriately it could actually be a good use for, uh, for stuff like this just to be for wood and planks and everything so I just have to decide how I want these power shafts to go in here I mean realistically I don't need these shafts going every which way but since I already have them I might as well just keep that going the way it is and then come down here and put maybe three of these 
and then engines right on top. That seems smart, and then we can just put in a secondary staircase to get down and continue all of this directly across like we have been. And then just have that come over like so. And before we build that one, of course, we'll have to come up here and put in these guys. This is going to take 800 years to actually build. So we'll just kind of leave that as it is. Now, the problem we're going to get into here is we don't have another path to get down to this area. We'd have to come in from another way, unless we were to just not put in our industrial aisles underneath here, or at least forgo that one in favor of having some sort of other... You know, maybe that actually would work. That would work. Get it? Because it's, it's wood. I don't know, I thought it was funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I can do that, then I can still actually put this here. I just have to have... Yeah, I just have to have the dynamite come over here and get rid of that. Yeah, come over here like this. And that can just take care of that that way. Should be good. All right, let's come in under here. No, not you. This guy will just... We'll just kind of make all of these on this side into logs. And then all of these on this side can be planks. That seems smart. We will definitely make use of all of those things. And now that we're going to have a whole lot more power, we can also do fun stuff like number crunchers. We don't quite have enough science for it just yet, but that's going to be a huge advantage in the arms race to get science, you know, once we can actually get there. And if we have a whole bunch of power generation, we'll be in very good shape to actually make use of it. And we also have these... Where, where is it? These metal platforms, we can put stuff on top of here. And we can actually create different layers of stuff. Uh, I've seen people do layers of... We're really that low on water? Still? Okay, well the drought's over, so it really shouldn't be a problem anymore. Well, nobody died of thirst, right? Good. We still haven't gotten anywhere on this. I guess they're just, uh, you know, focused on other stuff. Not really that big of a deal. We are disturbingly low on food. Why? Like, our storage on this stuff isn't even remotely close to full, so I don't really, uh... I don't really understand how it's crashed so hard. Other than we just really need to have more farms, I guess. So that is, uh... That's very disturbing. Alright, we need to get rid of... These little trees here. I guess I can just go ahead and put... A couple of these farmhouses. Uh, maybe build them over... Game almost crashed. Scared me. Maybe build them over this river would probably be the best way to... Uh, to go about that. Um, yeah, it shouldn't ever flood them if I just build them uh, out like this. And we'll just put two more here. That'll be fine. We can plant some... Uh, well, I guess we'll just need to kind of plant everything. Well, they're not going to get there for a, a while anyway. Where in the world has all of our food gone? Like, we don't have that many beavers. We only have... 
we only have like 94, and I thought we had a very good food storage. I guess not. I deceived myself. All right, I can turn that one back on. How in the world did I manage to, you know, not, not do that? All right, I have a golem that has nowhere to go. I could just, you know, have more in the hauling post, but I think this district especially is going to really need more beavers to actually work in the demanding jobs. So I could just have them work in the water dump, which is kind of a uh, kind of a waste. But also the haulers could just take the water there anyway, and that's fine. I believe it's the same thing with the engines, actually. If we just prioritize by haulers on there, we won't need anybody to really be working those things. So we can actually just probably automate all of these just by sending the golems slash bots over there. Free up some beavers to do other actual work. Now, this district imports all of its water currently. We're going to fix that. We're going to be pumping out of here. I wanted them to, you know, be pumping out of some other reservoir areas, but we don't really have any of those. So just for the sake of please don't kill all my beavers, let's just put in a couple of these guys in opportune places. Not in inopportune places, mind you. Kind of a weird wood, word choice on my part. Just go ahead and put in this guy right here. Is that going to be a three high? Sure is. Do that, do that, put in right here. That should be okay. Uh, and in the interest of, you know, beavers not dying, let's prioritize construction of, click this, of all of this kind of stuff. Yeah, because we are somehow, despite not being in a drought, somehow almost completely out of water, which is both impressive and disturbing. I think that's the only high priority project now anyway. So yeah, let's get these guys going on that. And then we also also need to get this. Do we have any high priority projects going on here? No, we don't. So let's just uh, go ahead. Get these guys really going here. I mean, every, everything else seems to be going pretty well, except now we're kind of paused on our breeding pods because we don't have enough berries because they had to eat them to survive, which kind of tragic. And I really, man, I wanted, I need this to be, be going. I guess I'll just go ahead and uh, back this up enough to get the water coming out the back again. I wanted to solve this for this wet season. It doesn't seem like that's going to be the case as this gradually fills up and overflows here. I guess they have other stuff to do that's a little bit more important. And this is still flooding, which is annoying, but it's not as bad. So I think we might have actually fixed something. Maybe? Just maybe? Except now these guys in this district are uh, pretty hungry, pretty thirsty, which is, uh, you know... The textbook example for not good. Especially because we are importing all of our food for this district, and that's going to change. We got to start growing food. That's probably going to be this area over here. End up being a farm. I don't want to unlock that yet. It's just very quickly become something that's a little difficult to manage. We may have grown too quickly, may have made some other mistakes. But we for sure don't need to be wasting actual arable land on 
building farmhouses. So we will avoid doing that. Make this to be all carrots. Then we'll make this to be all potatoes. That should help. We really should have never been completely importing food. It's just one of those things that's kind of a bad idea. Except when you are actually, you know, in the process of doing it, there's not really much more of an option that you have. So let's go ahead and, once again, high priority everything relating to food because it, well, is a high priority. It's the highest priority or you're going to have guys dying, which we very well at this point could because of poor management on my part. But it seems like it's starting to catch back up on the water and the food is going to be kind of a slow battle anyway. Just uh, takes a long time. This district, I predict a lot of suffering. Once again, because of my incompetence. I gotta stop blaming the beavers for stuff. A couple of you have caught on to that, that I just kind of blame the beavers for all of the uh, stuff that goes wrong. That's not always the best policy. Good news is most of this is correctable. It's just a sad reality that we only have about a week of actual wet season per year to accumulate the necessary amount of water we need and other, everything else is just being built so slowly it's like it's not a not really possible to get much of anything else done because we have all these other projects like getting this whole thing fixed which you know needed to happen to have the correct amount of water stored up but naturally there's a consequence to everything when you make different priorities or don't make priorities as the case may be other stuff is going to suffer that's just that's how life works and that's how stuff works in this game too so in reality we can probably actually just have this whole thing be uh all the way up at three because this is almost I, i'm pretty sure in uh start of day six we're gonna get that drought warning so not ideal if this is done here, we can actually have this floodgate at the maximum height of three and have a whole bunch of water retained, which is good for mid-drought refills of the uh, thing on the lower part of the map. Yep, there we go. We got three days to fix this. All right, so somebody come and finish that levy. Are you serious? You can only do that much building? Come on, man. That's not very cash money of you. There we go. That's done. All right, so this is going to be a massive, massive help. I really, really wanted to get more of this finished, at least to have a little bit of water retained here. But it, it just it doesn't seem like that's going to be the case. It's going to be a uh, kind of a problematic thing here. How are we doing on... Uh, okay, well, we have, I guess, some food. They, they just... They got a, a too far from a district, seriously? Okay, no, let's um let's take a look here. It really this shouldn't be too far from a district for them to construct it. Oh no, that's because they hadn't built the first one. Ah, uh, color me surprised. We're waiting on planks. Yep, we're waiting on planks because I'm using the planks to build gears, and I'm using the planks to build golem parts. So I'll tell you what. Let's pause all of the golem parts and try to get more planks. Because I've been trying to make more plank factories, but you know there's a whole process to this. And unfortunately, stuff just takes a while. And uh, when you try to grow too fast, bad stuff happens. That's just the way things go. Now, why haven't they built all of these? They really should have built those first. So I don't really know why uh, 
Don't really know why that's happening. I guess they're just kind of waiting. Uh, well, none of the none of the stuff is gonna die and dry up, so that's at least a small bit of solace there. Okay, farmhouse is already maximum priority. Let's get this thing going, man. Come on. Okay, somebody died of hunger. Yep. It's happening. The good news is we can uh we can gradually solve our food problems. Not uh not immediately, mind you. But eventually. Now why are we not uh why are we not building? Oh, because it's late at night. All right, yep, that's why. We've got one day left for the drought. Just, just build the farmhouse. Just, just build the farmhouse. It's not, not going to be a hard thing to do. In fact, this, this needs a second level here. Because I eventually kind of want this all to be more or less the same height when they uh, actually finish with that. It's going to be a long time. Long time. Okay, so that's done. Yeah, get going. Start planning stuff, man. Come on. You only got 0.4 days. And we got beavers dying of hunger in mass. Or Angry Beavers. That was a weird show. Good one, though. Grow and harvest plants, please, for the love of God. Well. At least we have some water back. Kind of. Alright. So that solves most of these problems. And this water should, should stay. Go ahead and place a dam here. I expect most of this to go bye-bye anyway, but we'll get this hopefully finished before all of it leaks out. Especially if we're pumping, it shouldn't really overflow ever again. Shouldn't be a problem. 21 days is not the worst drought to have. There we go. All right. So that's in good shape. Food recovery is going to be slow, but not the worst thing that could have happened. Except now we're pumping so much water out, it's going to start kind of, wow, that's kind of, kind of flipping out, huh? Well, that's all blown up. I guess we can go ahead and get those three detonated. And then I'm going to remove all of these paths and start putting in the different dams here. As a matter of fact, now that this is in place, and I know we have enough wood, I'm going to go ahead and just start having all of this. Just go ahead and get built. No reason for this not to be a thing. So I guess... I guess I don't really need to have intermediary stops for water retention. Maybe just as a function of gradually expanding this as... You know, there's space to. But I think I can, uh, once, once this dynamite gets put down, we can go ahead and fix all that. Just let these guys get to that first. Uh, we're going to need to put in some grills for the potatoes. 
could be another uh, good thing to put on top of the water here, although I probably need to keep this area free for additional pumps, unless I'm going to put the pumps for this district up here, which, you know, probably would be a smarter idea. This is going to take a long time to build all this, so it's not going to be an immediate thing anyway. All right, yeah, we're, we're dying of hunger again. And a surprise to absolutely no one. Okay, grilled potatoes, grilled potatoes. That'll solve that problem. Yeah, we're still struggling to keep up with the food in this one. Which is interesting because we, we have fewer beavers than we've actually ever had in recent memory. This, oh, the automated migration is absolutely killing us. This district is set to have a minimum of 30. But I should probably also set this district to have a minimum of, say, uh, minimum of 60 so we stop immigration that we can't really sustain. Because I think in terms of actual jobs, we have, yeah, we have 69. So we actually have, should make the minimum of this one, 69. Because the industrial zone actually has uh, golems slash bots. Don't forget. Yeah, we really, really needed more uh, more farm workers here. Yeah, so like, come on. Come get this together. This is all carrots. I guess we should probably just make a whole bunch of carrots for right now, because they grow faster. They haven't really planted anything anyway. Get these guys to work. It'll end up being fine. We just have to lose a lot of beavers to hunger. My god, that's a lot of beavers. Well, it is called hard mode for a reason. I do have patterns of less than efficient play that tend to crop up in times like this. But it's really not that big of a deal. That's why we learn. I'm going to go ahead and uh, yeah, get these guys to collect all of this other stuff. Then we will get rid of these. I will close this gap. We'll be able to store a little bit of water here. That'll also end up overflowing into this to make a uh, reservoir and then cascading down here. Diet of hunger, diet of hunger, diet of hunger. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, we're definitely unlocking. Uh, we're unlocking golems for farmhouses for sure. because we're going to need them to uh, take care of all of that. Okay, we've planted carrots. Okay, this guy should be... Oh, I never told him to cut these trees. Okay, can't be mad about that. Definitely cannot be mad about something you never asked him to do. While we're here, I guess we can clean up all of these so they don't cause any more lag or anything. Yeah, it's a good problem to, uh, to fix right there. Alright, yeah, that's going to be going to be a big help. Just go planting a whole bunch more of these guys. All right, good news. This district now has, well, some food. Some food. Oh, 
Okay, those are being uh, tended by haulers. Uh, this isn't connected by paths because they haven't built the stairs yet, because they haven't built the dynamite yet. Oh, what, what fun we have. All right, this is now done. Come collect the rubble. I love that this is a thing. I just, I cannot get over it. Super helpful. All right, now come get this, and then we will finish putting this in here. And then they'll be able to get across and when the wet season comes back around at the end of this episode. Then we'll have water stored here, and we'll have water stored here. Well, kind of. It's going to depend on a whole lot of stuff going right. And we need more beavers to be born, except we can't breed them because they're eating all of the food. Okay, I should prioritize farmhouse. Okay, yeah, that's already... Yeah, that can already be not a thing. Well, at least the grill is working correctly. Well. It could be worse. It could definitely be worse. How are we doing over here with our golems? I have enough uh, limbs and chassis. They don't have enough heads. But I can at least make another two golems, bots, whatever, here. All right, that's progress. We'll detonate that. Connect that. That should take care of most of the rest of this stuff. It's just a continual arms race to try and advance your uh, supply chain as much as you're advancing your tech tree and all of your different buildings. It's a long process. It's a very, very long process. So let's go ahead and elevate the importance of these three things. Well, four things. Because that's going to allow us to build the entire rest of this. Now we just got a bunch of beavers. Bunch of beavers dying of hunger. That's uh, definitely not ideal. But the good news is fewer beavers alive is going to require fewer resources to feed. So, you know, while it is pretty bad, it's not all doom and gloom. We'll just keep on growing more stuff. How far up can... Oh, yeah, I can do this whole thing as carrots. You bet. You better believe this whole thing's going to be carrots. And we can turn all of this into potatoes. In fact, I'm going to unplant all of these carrots and turn them into potatoes. Why are you growing so many potatoes? Because I need to, apparently. In fact, some of this probably is going to need to be wheat. But these guys can take care of all of these carrots, I'm sure. No problems here. I guess I should make all of the lumberjack positions. Let's just, let's take a look here. Pause the game real quick. Uh, all of these things. Okay, water pumps are important. Distribution post is not super important and also would explain why the other district is not getting any uh, stuff because there's nobody working there. District center no longer needs to be that important. Engine can be deprioritized. Farmhouses should all be prioritized. Foresters, not super important. Gatherer flags, not as important. The grill... Um, potato one, I guess, should be. Grist mill is not. That's good. The healer can be a low-priority job. Uh, inventor should have already been a low-priority job. That's kind of, uh, kind of bad. All of the lumberjack flags can be low-priority jobs. Uh, 
well, I guess we can uh, just assume, since there's only a couple of them that were occupied anyway, that was going to be a low priority job. I guess we don't need all of the water pumps to be uh, deep water pumps to be occupied. I guess we can make those lower priority. They're not occupied anyway. So I will leave three of those as prioritized jobs. See if that helps at all. We're just in a spot now where we are uh, not really in a great spot to be staffing a bunch of jobs. And as a result, the food production suffers because these guys are not not always keeping up. But that's how you get out of situations like this is just, you know, figure out a solution. Don't spend any time being really uh, up in arms about it. I mean, this kind of stuff is going to happen. It's just the, that's just the way it goes. Except now there's no... Uh, there's no power in this... Oh, there's no logs because we're not... Mmm, yes, okay. Lumberjack flag should be a golem minimum. Well, that problem will take care of itself. Eventually. We'll let the hauling post golems take care of that. Uh, meanwhile, the food problem really shouldn't be a thing anymore in this district. Just kind of let stuff run away from us. Uh, I imagine a couple of you had been warning about this the whole time. I did not think it was going to be this bad. It should not have been this bad. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, can this guy... Yeah, he can reach up here. Let's go ahead and plant some more wheat. So we definitely need to have a whole bunch more food. Yeah, we only have eight. Only eight beavers here? Wow. Not great. Not great at all. We've got water stored here. I think we can stop importing water. Or maybe we weren't importing. No, we were. Okay. We can stop importing water. We can stop importing logs. Maybe not. Maybe not stop importing logs. Take the gears off for sure. Alright. So we seem to be doing... Seem to be doing a little better here. Most of our weird construction projects are finished in this district, so I think we can... Okay, that's already lower priority. That's fine. The only thing we really have to be building still is this whole thing. And we really don't even have to be building it. We just find ourselves building it. Now we just kind of have to wait stuff out. We managed to have a substantially large population crisis again. For the second time this playthrough. It's not going to be the end. We'll be alright. Just going to take a little bit of time to snap back from all of this. And we will certainly do our best to try and make sure that's the case. Now our water storage is full. It says I have... What? It says I have 615. Where's the rest of... Oh, it's in the pump. Okay. Duh. Alright, so that's fine. This farmhouse is doing okay. I guess we need to build the grill. Probably should be the next thing we do. Set to grill potatoes. We have to have logs that we are also burning to make power so you know not a not a fantastic scenario 
But the good news is it is a golem that will eventually, eventually be able to take care of everything. We haven't gotten any more science this entire time because we haven't had enough beavers to do it. Which is unfortunate because if we had the number cruncher, we would, you know, probably be fine because we don't have to have beavers operating that. But we can't research it because we don't have science. So that's that's the way things go when you have a very, very small beaver population. Good news is we have a we have a grill now. And we're able to start cooking some of our potatoes, which means we can probably start, um, well, stop rather, importing food from this district into the industrial zone. I think it'll be fine. We're just kind of in a little bit of a rough spot. But the good news is this is not a large drought. We can let some more of this water out. Down here. Forgot about this guy. That can be taken care of. Let a little bit more of this water out. I'm glad we have this finished. That was going to be a much bigger problem if we didn't uh, didn't take care of that appropriately. Now they can keep pumping. And just like that, our food supply is already way higher than it was. Let's plant some more potatoes. This whole thing can be potatoes. All potatoes. Yeah, that will uh, go a long way toward helping us in the future. Just have these guys focus only on carrots. Of course, there's no available workers because we don't have enough workers because we can't make enough workers because we don't have enough supplies to make more beavers. It's fun how this stuff works, isn't it? Good news, though, is that this is completely done. This dam. Which means we can go ahead and delete those stairs. And by proxy, well, I guess I can just leave these here. There's, they're not really hurting anything. But I do want to get these uh, supplies back, get them to pick this stuff up, and then eventually grab all of this as well. And then we will shut this off and let the water flood everything as it will. Just kind of a slow process. Get this whole thing picked up. And then we'll keep on keeping on. Now the problem is going to be a lot of these are going to be dead because we don't have enough water, because we don't have any other way of getting stuff in here. And we can probably. Well. We could probably stop pumping in this district, at least, because we already have so much stored up. I almost wish there was like a trigger you could uh, put on the pumps to only activate if stored water in the district is lower than X amount or what have you. I feel like that would be pretty convenient. Maybe there's a mod for that. I genuinely don't know. If there is a mod like that, uh, let me know in the comments. I would be very interested to try it whenever we do our modded playthrough. Whenever that ends up coming up. But the good news is we only have five days left, and while a lot of these plants are going to dry out and die... Well, actually, I could put in... Probably should put in up here a uh, water dump would actually be a very smart use of uh, resources here. Let's do that, actually. Since I know we have so much already. 
I should have thought about that beforehand. I don't know why I didn't. But that would be a big, big help. Hit down to 23 beavers in this district. Sheesh. Well, I mean, that's, uh, that's the way things go. It's not really... Not really ideal. In fact, it's pretty much the opposite of ideal. But the way we have stuff set up, it's more or less impossible for all of our beavers to die. Hopefully. <laughs> so... Okay, why have they not been getting these trees? I guess he just has to have time to get over there. We've got wood. We're doing okay. Could definitely be better. Oh, I have two, uh, two golems that don't have a job. Don't have a job. Okay, what else can I have? I guess I could just have more golems in the hauling post, but that's kind of boring. Could put uh, two more in the farming stuff. But this isn't really going to require so much tending, especially if this one is already golems. So how about lumber mills, since we tend to need those so badly? Yeah, that sounds like a plan to me. Ah, they need planks. They need planks. How many planks do we have? We have 41. Okay. Nobody can find the planks, huh? Yeah, see, just like that, food supply is completely fine. We just made a couple of grave errors in our uh, supply priorities. Oh, well. All right. That's done. Right now we're going to have... His name is... Oh, I thought it was Tails Talus. Yeah, me too, bud. Carrying your water, huh? There we go. Good job. Now they can plant more. Why did I leave this? Oh, okay, I was going to build levees here, is what this was going to be. Well, this is now complete. Get rid of that. Put in a levee here. Make that the highest priority thing. Drought is over in two days, after all. And then we can almost, as soon as this one is harvested, we can put our path here and hopefully reconnect these two lumberjack flags, although there aren't really a lot of beavers to work those right now. We'll get there. Ah, I realized another, another problem with this setup when I did my, uh, my minimums is... This is so many more beavers than this current this district currently has. It's going to be a couple cycles before we get back up enough to uh, send any more to the industrial zone. So I think what we're going to have to do is just kind of lower this for a second. Got to replenish our, uh, our stock here. We also have a problem in that we don't have we don't have enough of specific uh, specific golem parts to really uh, do too much here. I hate to prioritize beavers working in the bot factories, but that is going to be the only way that we can potentially survive here. Well, if we have if we have a golem to pump water, well, we don't need any yet because we have this all figured out. We have a golem to make food. We have water. We have golems in the hauling post. I probably will turn these down to three. Have these guys go do something else. I have one to cut wood. These are purely powered by the hauling post. Um... 
We have some of our essential industry stuff set to uh, be golems. I think we're going to be okay. Should be fine, at least. While we are slowly making our way back up with more beavers. Good news is the drought's over. So we're going to be getting plenty more water coming back out here. And we'll be in very good shape moving forward once our population recovers. I want to see this fill up. I know it won't fill completely up because of how stuff is being built. But it will be a nice moment to have this uh, improved six. Uh, I tried to combine significantly and substantially at the same time to make a word that does not exist. That's fine. That's what I get for recording late at night. But hey, water's coming out here, and now it's coming out here, and it's going in here. And it seems to be going pretty well. Everything is... Well, not everything's working perfectly, but this is such a much better solution than to just have water flying absolutely everywhere. And it's going to get better once this is actually a full height reservoir with the rest of this. We can be pumping out of that as well and kind of just leave this here for irrigation purposes. This is working. I kind of wish this wasn't as much of a mess. But this will eventually be at the spot where it needs to be. And that can only be good for the rest of our beavers. What few of them still remain. But all hope is not lost. We have 28. We have 9 kits. I don't know why they don't call them kits here. They just call them children. But in the game documentation, they call it kits. I think. Eh. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't think I am, but... I think we're going to be just fine. It's kind of these weird, weird combinations of like the perfect storm of stuff to go wrong. It seems to befall us more often than not. Which is uh, honestly just the result of poor planning on my part. Wow, this is a short wet season. Sheesh. Yeah, so we'll just go right up to the start of the next drought and we'll call it an episode there because we're only at an hour and... about an hour and three minutes, hour two minutes. Yeah. I'm not going to say this was a great episode because a lot of stuff definitely went wrong. But, you know, it's kind of like how a lot of pilots say, any landing you can walk away from is a good one, and if you can fly the airplane again, it was a great landing. So I guess by that metric, this was a good episode. Maybe even a great episode. Because uh, we're going to survive for another cycle at least. In hard mode with the hard faction. On one of the harder maps with not a whole lot of water. So, you know, I think I think stuff's going to be fine. You just can't get, let yourself get too bogged down in the, uh, the panic of, Oh no, all my beavers are dying. No, just fi find out what's happening and fix it. It's really not that hard. The only bad stuff that seems to happen to us happens when I try to do something that's a little outside of my scope or have too much growth too quickly without enough, uh, I guess, resources to back it up. The good news is we do have these bots to do a lot of our other stuff. And it seems to be working. What are we uh, exporting? Planks, gears, metal, and dynamite. Well, I guess we're not exporting anything right now. I really, I want to build that number cruncher. We just can't because we don't have science because we don't have enough beavers to do science. Oh my, okay. Well. I could unlock the gear workshop for a thousand science points, but I want to save the science. I think, I think we're going to be okay. I have beaver working here. I've got Actually, no, they, I don't have enough, uh, I don't have enough beavers to do this. Did I lose some more in here? No, I still have seven. We might have to just kind of randomly 
take some beavers to go over. Although now I think we... I changed this, right? Yeah. Minimum 30. They should start sending some more over to the industrial zone, and that'll put us in a slightly better position. It's not the end of the world. As long as we have the ability to feed our beavers and keep them watered, we should be in good shape. Uh, I will unpause one of these because that is a bot golem, whatever, doing all that. We don't have a lot of trees to cut right now, so that guy is fine just as he is. I guess for right now I can just uh, just have more haulers. Probably should just make all of those already. Anyway, we got 0.3 days left of the drought, which means it is time for us to call it a day on this episode. As always, I read every single comment. I respond when I can, when there's something uh, that I can add to the conversation. We are starting to get a lot of comments now, and it's going to become the case pretty soon. I think I might have said this in the last video. It's going to become the case pretty soon when I just realistically cannot reply to all the comments. And it, that kind of makes me sad, because I like talking to you guys about stuff, but there's, there's only so much time in a day. And uh, this is not my full-time job. Although it is getting to the point where it's starting to become an, enough of an income to kind of dedicate more time to it, which is awesome. I love, love being able to do this. And the fact that I can get a little bit of money is awesome as well. Just for having fun playing a beaver game and talking to you guys in the comments. Very, very thankful for that. I'm thankful for all of you that choose to watch these videos and spend about an hour of your time every day hanging out and just enjoying this fantastic game. So if this is your first video you've seen, I'm kind of curious how you First video would be the eighth in a series on uh, hard mode with the hardest faction of the game. But hey, if that's the case, welcome. Glad you're here. If you've been here since the beginning, thankful for you as well with that. Just it's always, always so much fun to do these. Even when we have setbacks like this episode where a whole lot of beavers die. It's fine. It's just a game, right? Not worth getting upset about. You can still have a whole lot of fun with stuff that's challenging and stuff that makes you think in ways that you hadn't uh, previously considered. So we have a 25-day drought. We got a pretty significant population challenge to overcome, but I think the changes that we made toward the end of the episode are going to make it very favorable for us to survive. And especially since we have so much water and food stored up now in just a short period of time. Should be perfectly fine. And I can't wait to see what we do in the next episode. So again... That's all the time we have for today. Whatever you're doing today with the rest of your time, stay safe, have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.